Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and I welcome you all to Power Ups Beginner Series. You are watching 14th part of this series and in this session we are going to talk about search and filter in Power Ups. So now, let's get started. Now, first of all let me show you the end outcome that we are going to perform at the end of the session. So here we are going to create four different filter option and one search box. Whenever I am searching anything, it will filter my grid based on its description. Also, I applied a filter for leave types, different types of leaves, departments and status. Right? Now here you can see that these are the status items over here. If you have observed one thing into this filter grid, you can see that I have added additional all items as well so by default it will show all the items in the grid but whenever user select specific item only at that time it will filter the data right so here we are going to talk about how i have created this drop down also we are going to check how we can apply this search as well so let me explain you that thing in detail this is the grid view that we have created in our previous session now let me just duplicate this view and now we will implement our search and filter over there. I have duplicated my view over here. Now let me just arrange this thing a little bit. Let me just decrease the size of my grid and let me just change its position. So I provided the space on the header to add the filters and search box. Now let's add one search box. I am adding one input text. Let's remove its default value. Now add the hint text as search description. It will look like this. Now let's add drop down from input. Let's add the drop down from here. This is the first drop down. Now let me just decrease its width as 250. And now let me just make a copy of this drop down and make other four drop down. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I added four drop down over here. Now let me just place the value over here. Now let's add items into each drop down. In order to achieve that, let's apply our code on visible event of the screen. So whenever we are coming for the first time on the screen, it will prepare the drop down value first and then we will bind that drop down over here in the control. Right? Now let me show you that thing. Click on screen and select on visible event. Now on visible we have written already some of the code. Now after that we just need to make some code. Let's say for an example I just wanted to add leave type right. So let me just add collection as clear collect. Just provide the name of your collection as leave type. And now we want to add different choices of leaves over there right. So let's add this value over here choices leaves dot leave type right now hit and enter right now let's check what we are getting over there now uh, i'm going to second screen and then came back to this screen now let's see what we are getting over here inside the collection double click on that now in leave type i am getting all the leave values over here like this right now what I wanted to do here is in filter I want to add one additional choice like all leaves right. So how can I add that? In order to add that we can do one thing like this. We can add one item before we are adding the choices. So let's add like this value as all leaves and then it will append these choices. So what happened here is the first choice always would be all leaves right. Now 
let me go to screen 3 again and let me go back here and let's check the value inside the collection so here you can see that all leaves are first and then other types of leaves are appearing here right so this is for leaf type right now same thing we need to do for other drop downs as well so let me just so let me just add that code as well now let's say I want to make a drop down for planned leave and unplanned leave right for that I just need to use this code choices leaves dot select type right same way for department choices leaves dot department and for status leaves dot status right and I added all items view before we are adding the value to the collection right so we created these items here now let's execute this let me execute screen visible I am coming here on the screen now the collection has been created now what I want to do here is I just wanted to apply that collection in the drop down select this drop down and just add leave type so that will add this drop down leave type dot value right now same way here the drop down for planned and planned leave right so planned unplanned leave dot value correct same way here we are and we just need to type departments right so department dot value and at last status so we have status dot value correct so my drop down has been prepared successfully over here let me run that and let me show you you can see that all the drop down has been prepared successfully now what I want to do here is I just wanted to change this out of the box IDs so this is the leave planned unplanned drop down right so I just need to change as drop down leave plan unplanned right same way it's it is a leave type this is the drop down for department and this is the drop down for status so I have developed all of these four drop downs now this search is this is the text search box so let me just rename as text input search right now we need to filter our data based on the selected value right in order to do that we need to use filter function right so go to select the grid so let's say this is my gallery grid now here you need to go to the items and at this moment direct data source of leave has been applied here right now here we need to use filter function now let me explain you how we can filter our grid data based on the drop down value so first of all let's pick this value so my drop down id is this one copy this one and now i just wanted to filter based on the selected type of leaf so here we have this type of leaves right so let's select this grid go to the items event and here it is the data source just remove that and apply a filter code inside the filter we need to write a code data source that is my list that is leaves list then we need to provide drop down id drop down level up dot selected text dot value in which field i want to check that value of list so basically this field is available in the leaves type in the list so let's select leave type so this is the column name leave type dot value right now this has been done right now let's check the data so whenever I'm selecting casual leave it filter my data based on the casual leave on medical leave it filter my data on medical leave same way maternity leave same way half pay leave etc right but whenever I'm selecting all leaves it is not showing anything to me the reason is that this choice is not available but in filter with the in function if we pass blank whenever the value is leaves 
it will show all the records automatically so now let's implement that logic now what i want to do is if selected value is all leaves it will replace that with the blank right in order to do that we need to do one thing we need to use substitute function use substitute inside that text so this is my text right selected value right now what is the old text that is all leaves correct now i want to replace that with the blank correct and that is how this filter function will work right now what happen here is by default it is showing all and whenever i am filtering it will show other values right this right so this is how in function with filter work now same way for other drop down we need to follow the same procedure let's say this is the leave type right <coughs> this is the all department and this is these are all status now let's apply the similar code for departments and status so same way we just need to copy the id drop down department then we need to go here and what we want to do here is just place comma just format this text so this will look like this now place comma and let's add another condition another condition for department so let me just place this code over here and let me just change this ids appropriately so basically my id is drop down department dot selected text dot value in department dot value i want to search and same way drop down status i want to search from here right now let me just format this code so this will look like this i added three filters code over here now let me just uh, check that code so let's say i'm selecting hr so it's filter by hr department development department and managers right now same with status pending then approved then rejected there is no one right so this is how this code is look like right now i want to do one more thing let's say here there is a planned and unplanned leave now uh, i can, i don't want to use in operation here let's say in filter we can also use is equal to operator so let me show you the usage of that is equal to operator over there and let me implement that by is equal to operator right now let's say for that if my request type is all leaves types then what would be happened it should show me planned and unplanned both the type but if i filter by only plan it will should show only plan and same way unplanned right now for that what we need to do here is we need to apply one if condition over there right just copy the id of this one that is drop down leave type now go to the items code again and now let's add that code over here so we will add if condition if drop down dot selected text dot value equal to all leave types then what should be happen then we need to use we need to show both the values right so for that we just need to uh, uh, add or condition here and we just need to place column name is equal to planned or unplanned right so let's add this code over here so i am just adding this code select type dot value equal to plan or unplanned both the value we want to show if the if we select all leaves type otherwise what would be its value its value would be the drop down selected value right so drp leave type dot selected dot value equal to this one columns value select type dot value right now i added that condition now let's format the text so this will look like this right now let's check the code so i am just uh, filtering by leave types planned and unplanned and here it is now every filter is working perfectly 
you can see that I am searching plant and medical leave. So both the condition has been applied. Plant and maternity leave. Plant and paternity leave. Same way plant and casual leave. Right? Same way we can filter by department as well. So we can apply multiple filter at the same time here. Right? We did that. Now what we want to do here is we want to apply search for the description column. Right? Same way for that as well we will apply the in operation here right we are not going to use any search function for that you can also use search function but i'm not going to use i will use the filter function itself so let me show you so let me copy this id so i want to search this text inside the description meaning title column right for that let me select my grid and let me just add one last condition here so I'm just adding a condition as text input search dot text in which column title column correct yes absolutely so that is how that search will work now let me execute the code let me search for marriage so you can see that it has been searched based on the pr provided field right you can apply the multiple search as well here with the or condition so let me show you one of the condition here like i want to also search by approver's name right so if i'm searching for aditya so it should filter based on my approver as well right so multiple search field i want to apply so how can i do that for that select this grid again now i want to go to the filter and now i will apply or condition so inside the or it should either search from here or else it should also search let me copy this id text inputs dot search in it should search into approver manager list as well manager column as well manager dot display name right so what happened here is let's say even with the same search box if I'm searching Aditya, it will show me his request. Same way, let's say I'm searching for Sriraj, it will show Sriraj's request. Same way, if I'm searching based on Dhruvin, it will show me Dhruvin's request. Right? Same way, let's say, see with the same field, I want to search by Liu. So it will sort it by title. Right? If I'm searching some another topic, like this it will filter by this description so this is how my filter and search function on multiple columns for the grid will work so hope this is clear for you now we have discussed about the filter function and how we can utilize that based to filter out or search out our grid we have explained this thing in detail hope this is clear for you now now let's summarize everything so here with this grid we have created four different drop down and one search box now what we have done is we have additionally add all views for all the drop down and based on the provided drop down we have written the filter function for our grid items now the filter function is looking like this don't worry i'm providing this code on my github you can directly download from there and now what happened here is whenever i applied search and filter it will automatically filter my data based on the provided conditions over here we have applied our search and filter on people picker column as well right so uh, that is how we can manage this thing very easily and very quickly with our filter function hope this help you in your real life project now in next session we are going to talk about how we can apply sort for each individual column over there and in the next session next to next session we will talk about how we can use search and sort together with the grid so stay tuned with me throughout the entire journey if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay connected with me on facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your whatsapp number if you are looking for any consultancy here is the whatsapp number just ping on your name and detail that you are looking for stay connected with me have a great day goodbye